still trying to figure out my hair. I will feel confident about it and then see it on the camera and then I'm not sure anymore. But anyways, this is the first time I've started a video on the floor in a long time. I thought it'd be fun to do a plant tour type video, plant vlog. I mentioned something about it a few times on, on Instagram and on stream and stuff and people seem supportive of the idea, you know? Let me know. I think veganism and plants, you know, those, those categories overlap audiences, right? I would think so. And I also don't even know what half of these plants are. So I downloaded a plant identification app. I have a seven day free trial. So the Moulin Rouge poster. This one's actually fake. Um, I wasn't gonna talk about fake plants in this video, but you guys can let me know if you want a tour of my fake plants in a second episode of a plant video. Let's start with the most Mm, let's start with this little guy. Um, I feel like most of my plants are like gifts. Honestly, most of them, yeah. And most of them probably from my mom. This is a little piggy. I believe she said she bought it for me because he was ugly and she thought I would like it, which is true. This is an air fern. I actually have two air ferns. I don't really understand the other one. I'm still really confused by it. That's another reason why I wanted to do this video because people love to give me tips and advice, sometimes nice, sometimes not so nice, but either way, I'll take it, you know? But anyways, this is air fern number one. This is one of the first plants I had to myself, and it's still going strong, you know? I don't know if I should cut off the little edge, the ends, um, the little tips of the branches, you know, that are like crispy. I did that with my other air fern, and I'm not sure if I like messed it up by doing that, but anyways. This one says to soak it for like five minutes every once in a while and then leave it out to dry. I kind of just put it back in there because I think it kind of dries in there. Oh, I like set it like this to dry. These are good if you want like little plants for like your desk or something, but you don't really want too much work or whatever. But like, look at him. He's having a punk moment, you know? Sometimes I like to rearrange his hair to give him a new, you know, style every once in a while. I like it around here. It's more of like a side-swept fringe, you know? Anyways, so that's him. Air fern number two. Also a critter, a little pup. This one, I'm like, it's so, it's weird. It's like attached to a thing. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know, it's weird. They honestly look like the same plant. And this one says it's a Tillandsia. So I'm assuming this is also a Tillandsia. They look exactly the same. But yeah, this one I trimmed the edges of. Looks like they're kind of getting crispy again, but maybe that just means it needs water. I don't know, but I trimmed the edges of this one a while back and I don't know if it caused it to like curl in more. I don't know, it's not, I feel like it should be doing better than it is, honestly. So this one, it says to mist it two times a week. I never do that and I probably should. Um, instead I just kind of like rinse it under some water. I used to just put water in here and it would like absorb it into here somehow and maybe that was not right. I just don't have a squirt bottle. I have to get one and I've been saying that for many months. I don't know how this is still alive honestly. But you know, he's- I don't have names for any of them. I really should have names, huh? Maybe you guys want to come up with names for me. Yeah, so I used to have all my plants on this other like shelf thing that I now put in my room because I needed something in my room to put the Wi-Fi modem on and so I took all my plants off of that because they weren't really they weren't really that great on it anyways they were kind of all getting too big for it it was just not the most efficient so now i'm just gonna have some on the floor have some in plant stands i have this thing where i have you know a few plants on it i'll go thrifting for other things stuff like that another topical item is these green onions that i just put out here yesterday like yesterday afternoon look how they're all already like growing you know, n new shoots out of there. I kind of want to plant two separate pots of them and see, uh, cause I don't know. I killed the previous ones that I planted. I had them in water for a little while. I got some more for, uh, green onions from that. And then once I potted them, they just kind of slowly died, but they were outside like in the summer. So once it got to summer, all my outdoor plants were like suffering because it's so hot here. I have too many small pots. I don't have enough like big pots. So I think I'm gonna pot two separate 
small pots, put one outside and one inside. That way we'll see how the outside one survives, but if it doesn't, I saw the indoor ones because I don't need this much green onion plant. Then I have this basil plant that I really need to repot because it's still in the pot from the store, you know, and it's getting very large, you know, but also the the leaves seem kind of like weak to me, like small. When I picture basil plants, the leaves are like like a richer green color and they're like larger and kind of thicker leaves. So I don't know if that's like means that I'm not taking proper care of it or something. I don't know. The good thing about this plant, when it needs water, it's very obvious, which is kind of cool. It looks like it's dying basically. And then once you give it water, it looks like perfectly fine in like the next couple hours. It's good to have like at least one plant that's like that, like really um, like obvious, I guess, because whenever I see that this one is like limping a lot, then I go and check all my other plants. It's a good like reminder to get into plant mode, if that makes sense. And I honestly have not used the basil leaves nearly enough. It's so stupid. I need to be making pesto like every week but instead I just forget that she's even here and I don't want to disturb her, you know? But yeah, I really want to re repot this maybe into two separate pots. And then we have this one. This is the first one that I really don't know what it is. So I'm gonna have to use, there's your chance, um, plant people. Take your guess in the comments. So let's see if you're right. The phone says, oh, what just happened? I don't know. The plant app says, this app honestly sucks. Huh? What's wrong with you? Why are you like this? Maybe I should download a different- Okay. That was Planto. So they're getting a zero star review from me. Picture this plant identifier is coming next. So now let's move on to my snake plant. This was from a gift. This one, this one, and another one, you can tell by the pots, and they all needed to be repotted so bad. I repotted one of them because it was like really growing through the pot, it was really bad. These other ones, they're just really tight in there, but I just don't have like big pots right now. I need to go buy big pots. But anyways, this plant, I was going to buy one of these anyways because I heard that it was like the number one plant that everyone says is like a good beginner plant. Look how psycho crazy it looks. Um, snake plant, did I say that? It's like a desert plant, obviously, so you don't have to water it much. It just looks so cool. The leaves are like so sturdy and thick. Anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna repot this into a large, I have one large plastic pot and I'm gonna repot this one probably today, but it just feels insane in here. I feel like there is, it's probably so bad, like root bound or whatever. I'm really scared. Honestly, I just get scared and then I like put off repotting all of them, but like, look how sick that is. Oh my gosh. Once I learned that like this plant and the pothos plant are like really popular beginner plants, I started seeing them like everywhere. Every show that you watch, every like office that you go to, everyone's house that I go to, I just see like, especially pothos plants, which we'll get to, but second try on this app. $30 for a year. Oh, that's not bad. Now we take the picture of the plant and we see what it is. It's a corn plant. Oh my God. It's called a corn plant. Are you serious? Corn stalk, fragrant dracaena, mass cane, happy plant, lemon lime. That is very fun. Is an evergreen, slow growing perennial shrub native to tropical Africa. Also, it is a classic houseplant grown in Europe since the 1800s. It's glossy green foliage that resembles corn leaves grow on top of a thick cane, which is why the plant is sometimes called false palm tree. Cool. Sunlight, partial sun, average water needs, watering when the top one point in blah, 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 blah. Trim the diseased withered leaves once a month. Anyways, so that's super exciting that it's called a corn plant. I actually love that so much. I love it. It's so, I love the leaves. I love how it's like two-toned, you know, so cool. This one really needs to be repotted also. I don't know what this one is either, so we will be taking a pic of this. I just repotted it recently. It was in like a very small pot before. It looks really cool, honestly, because it was like draping down the sides of it a lot, but it just wasn't really fitting in there well. And lately I've been like, when I repot things, I repot them in kind of 
a bigger pot than I think they need because then I don't have to like repot them again quickly. This was in a really small pot and then I repotted it to like a slightly bigger one, you know? And then I felt like it needed to be repotted like super quickly after that. So I'm like, why don't I just put it in this big one, you know? Is it too big? Maybe. But I have like five shoots of it growing right now. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm excited for them each to be like draping down like this one is, you know? And I think that'll look cool. Um, <laughs> it's just not gonna grow like up much, you know? Or maybe, I don't know, this is growing like up, but I think it'll go down eventually. They're kind of like funky though. They're like fuzzy. I don't know if it'll like focus on the plant at all. So let's take a pic of this one. It's a sand rose. Are we sure? Like all the pictures are like stubby. So it kind of feels like not the same, but I don't know. I guess it's just the way that it's growing. Let's see, what do we say about this guy? It's a succulent, full sun to partial sun, drought tolerant. Cool, this app is so nice. I literally will pay for the year of it. You can add plants to your garden. I should like ask to be sponsored by this. You can add plants to your garden and then it has them in here and says like how much sun they need and, and water every blank days and stuff. I also have a money tree that someone got for me for my graduation and I think it was supposed to be like a joke like, you know, I was like a business student so like money tree. I don't know if it was supposed to be funny. I thought it was funny. This also really needs to be repotted. It's in the same pot that, you know, they gave it to me in like a store pot. It's pretty tall, pretty cool. Tropical plant. It doesn't even say money money tree on here, it just says tropical plant. Most prefer medium, light, moderate, moist soil, average, moderate, home temperature. Okay, so everything moderate. So anyways, yeah, I wanna plant this in something bigger. <laughs> yeah, something bigger. Taking a picture of the money tree. It's a guinea peanut. <laughs> it's a guinea peanut. Cool. Common name, money tree, lucky tree, French peanut, saba nut. Very fun. The wood is sometimes used for objects of light use such as toys and boxes. Can't believe it's called a guinea peanut. And then I have a jade plant, which was one of the first plants that I got. It was actually like this size when I first got it, kind of like this, but smaller. And then it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I ended up separating it into two pots. So I have one pot of it outside which is honestly not looking too hot. It's been through like hail a couple times, too much sun, too much water. It's like falling over now. So I don't know. It used to be one of my favorite plants that I had because I love how it looks. It's so like cute and I love how like bouncy it is, you know? I don't know. I love how thick the leaves are. But what do you do about it like bending over like this? This is just how it is and I just have to accept it. Cause I liked how it was when it was like up. You know, it's cuter like that. So is there something I can do about that? Or is it just like supposed to do this and I shouldn't worry about it? This is actually one of my only pots now that is not, doesn't have drainage. I am just like, am careful about watering it, but I kind of want to repot it into something that does have drainage just cause I'm getting nervous. But I mean, it never had drainage before and it's done pretty well. The stem of it is like so freaking hardy. Jade plant, Crassula. Avada. It's a dollar plant, lucky plant, money plant, money tree. What the f This is not the same as that at all. That's weird. Ooh, let's look at other people's pictures. Why doesn't mine look like that? That's cute. I like that better than mine. What the heck? So they have theirs growing on like a little stand thing to keep it straight. I could do something like that, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, that's that. A pothos that my mom just gave me literally yesterday that really, really needs to be like helped in there. Desperately needs more soil in there. I don't know what is going on, um, but apparently the pothos is like really versatile. Uh, what's the word? I don't know. Forgiving, easy to take care of. I want to repot this because I know they grow fast. I like this pot though. It's pretty cool. Probably get like a different plate for it but maybe I could put something else in here. Golden pothos. 
Devil's Ivy, Taro Vine, Money Plant again. Why are we just calling every plant Money Plant? That seems really like dumb. Golden Pothos is toxic to dogs and cats. Ingestion of any part of the plant may cause vomiting orally. Wow, wow, that's crazy because these are so popular. I have this plant stand that my mom just gave me that they don't want that's pretty tall and I'm like not sure which plant I should put in it because I have so many that I need to repot right now. But I was really thinking between the pothos and the money tree. I thought the money tree would be cool because then it would be like super tall in a stand. But maybe I'll just wait and get a different stand for it and put the pothos in that stand right now because that would be good. If I had a dog, then the pothos would be like out of the way. I mean, I don't know how much the dog would care about a plant, but just in case. I don't know, but the money tree, everything needs to be repotted right now and I'm getting like stressed out because I don't want to have to like pay for like a bunch of pots, you know? Couple more plants. I just have this like on the coffee table right there. I don't know why for the longest time I never thought about putting plants on the coffee table. Well, mostly because I think I thought they were gonna get knocked over, so then I put them in this little like tray thing, so maybe they're like less likely to get knocked over. Anyways, I got this one. Also, I got three plants for my graduation. <laughs> People are smart. People know me. But this is a rat tail plant, apparently. I actually really like the little pot that it came in from the store. It's actually cute. Although I probably should repot it sometime soon if it looks like it's getting like tight in there. I don't know how important it is. This plant's pretty like small in general. Yeah, it's pretty freakish, but cool. Rat tail cactus. Dysocactus flagelliformis. Whoa. Oh man, that looks crazy. That looks crazy. What? That looks pretty wild. It's kind of freaky, honestly. Hope it doesn't get, whoa. That's kind of cool. It's cool, but freaky, but you know, that makes sense for a plant called rat tail. Cool. So I guess I should figure out maybe a way to hang it. I could hang it outside or, or just have it in like a plant stand. Oh, it's just so small that I don't really once it starts like getting larger and starts like draping over the side, I'm gonna wanna either put it in like a taller plant, a taller pot or hang it somehow. All right. Okay, and then I also have this one, which I don't know what it is. This also really needs to be repotted. Oh my God, it's like so, everything's just like seems so tight in there, you know? But this pot's kind of cute. But anyways, this plant, everyone is like, how is this alive? Like, how is this real? It just seems, ever since I got it, it seems so like perfect. It never looks like dry or crusty or anything. It just looks like so perfect and sturdy. I don't know, like, I mean, it definitely is real. Um, I've been adding water to it. It would have gone somewhere by now. It is a dwarf umbrella tree. Very cute. Sounds cottagecore, honestly. Shufflera arboicola. Honestly, this is the first one that mine actually looks better than like a lot of the pictures in here. Partial sun every seven to 10 days. Ooh, the golden pothos. Wow, every plant says like seven to 10 days or 10 to 14 days. And then the golden pothos is every two to three days. Wow, okay, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Okay, so the last indoor plant, I think, um, I think that's everything. <sighs> this one's so heavy. It's a Christmas cactus and it has a, ooh, oh my God, it's literally gonna collapse and die today. We have a little flower. A little flower, you know? And we have a few different like bulbs growing, you know, more flowers. A beautiful succulent with notched leaves and trumpet shaped blooms. Feed once every month during growing season. Water allows soil to, should I actually like fertilize the, uh, like feed them or whatever? How important is that? Cause someone let me know. Cause I've never done that ever. <laughs> Schlumbergera brigil, brigisi. Okay, there's a flower. Yeah, so it's called a Christmas cactus, so you would think that it's supposed to bloom during Christmas time, but it's been blooming like on and off since like Easter time. I remember like on Easter was when I found like multiple flowers on it for the first time. They stick around for like a couple days and then they die. And then I find them like this, just laying around, which is kind of sad. It's really dusty. I guess I should like, wipe down my plants, but that seems like so much work to like wipe each like little leaf down. 
So I'm like, maybe every once in a while when I need to water them, I should just take them all outside and like hose them down, you know? Yeah, pretty cool. So that's all my indoor plants. But yeah, I'm having fun with it, honestly. Like when I first got here, I only had like a few plants that were my own and I was scared to like build up a collection of them just because I felt like it would be a lot of work and like I'd probably kill a lot of them and stuff. But honestly, I've been surprisingly good at keeping them alive other than the outdoor ones. All of my plants were like doing so well until the summer came and a lot of my outdoor plants either died or just started suffering. They also got hailed on at one point where they were all like busted up and stuff. It was really sad. I think my thing was that like I honestly would forget to water them all the time. Like a lot of people set reminders and stuff or they're just like, they get nervous. So they're like constantly watering their plants. And then I think they overwater them, you know, and they die that way. But for me, I would just like forget about them for quite some time and then just be like, oh yeah, I gotta water my plants and then water all of them and then forget about them for a little while again. Maybe they were like just getting the bare minimum to survive off of, which is not the most ideal thing but at the same time like at least i wasn't overwatering any of them so maybe that's how they all stayed alive lately whenever i feel like i need to water one of them like aka the basil plant usually i will go around and like feel the rest of them like stick my finger in there i'll stick my finger in here and see how it feels if i can feel any like moisture any other way down and then I know that I need to water them. That's pretty cool and I'm also going to, I want to look at some thrift stores maybe this week and see what kind of plants, uh, what kind of pots and plant stands I can find at a thrift store because like this one I bought at Target because I really wanted a new pot for something. I thought this one was super cute so I really wanted to buy it. I like how the plate is like attached but it was like 15 or 20 dollars or whatever. I mean it's a nice pot, you know? But that's too much if I'm gonna be buying like several pots at once. Like that's, I don't wanna spend that. So I was planning on showing me repotting a bunch of plants in this video and like rearranging them inside and all that. But this video ended up getting a lot longer than I thought it would. So I figured it's better to just split it up and then in the second part of this video, I'll show you all the repotting and also like we can check up on my green onion progress. And also if I have found any good pots or plant stands from the thrift stores, I can show you guys those. I know I'll have more repotting to do and all that. So yeah, look out for a second part to this coming sometime soon. And yeah, that's my plants. I don't know what else to say. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Let me know how you feel about plant videos and I can do a second episode where I talk about my outdoor plants and also my fake plants if you guys want. Um, I actually have a lot of fake plants right now. I keep buying them and I should probably stop. But at the same time, I feel like it's a good investment because I'm never gonna not want the fake plants. And they add a lot to a space, you know?